Inside Tesla's new Shanghai Giga Factory, the dream company for automobiles and the lucky charm of Elon Musk. This is a famous household name now, either because of its products or because of its stocks. They have amazing branches everywhere now. And the Shanghai one seems to be just fabulous. Let's take a look at it. Welcome back to our channel, and today we'll take a look at Shanghai's new Gigafactory. A brief overview Tesla Giga Shanghai, or Gigafactory 3, is a factory in China run by Tesla Incorporated and right now is well known for the final putting together of the Tesla Model 3 and Tesla Model Y. The Model Y delivery started from January 2021, and it produces around 3,000 cars per week. They have a target of releasing 250,000 electric cars a year. The Model 3s was released in record time, just 12 months after the Gigafactory was set up. Super fast, if you ask us. The setup was approved by the Shanghai Municipal Government to build the production facility in July 2018, and the long-term lease was approved for 210 acres of land in October 2018. The construction began in December with the installation of secure fencing and site offices. They have equipped the building with additional production facilities for motors, seats, and powertrain assemblies. These facilities were under construction in late 2019 and were completed in 2020. The background politics due to the COVID-19 pandemic and Trump's accusations of China, there have been strained relations between the two. Even economically the US and China had been at loggerheads, even before the pandemic. Through all this, there had been a lot of turbulence between the US and China in the areas of business and trade. But the construction of the Gigafactory and manufacturing of the new Tesla lines was allowed in Shanghai as this would help raise employment in China and allow the Chinese to develop its economy. But what is a Gigafactory? A Gigafactory is a factory whose production units are in billions. It has a great output and Tesla's CEO, Elon Musk thinks only in those terms, that's for sure. Innovation in the EV market has always been synonymous with Tesla. The demand is only increasing and Tesla has to somehow balance it out. So how did they go about with it? They built a Gigafactory. This will undoubtedly be a production powerhouse and Tesla said that it aims to produce 500,000 vehicles per year here. Can you even imagine how much that is? Gigafactories give a huge boost to production generally, by centralizing production and making more parts. The rate of making parts can be made higher than the vehicle turnover, thus allowing more and more cars to be manufactured. This cuts time and makes the vehicle prices more affordable. Of course, this raises environmental concerns. That too, with Tesla setting up three of them. But the good news is that it is designed to have zero net energy. The Gigafactories are designed to run only on renewable energy, or solar energy to be more specific, and have no harmful by-product release. Gigafactory for the win. We know China has had high pollution levels for ages. People are living in areas with an air quality index of 150. Good air quality levels mean an AQI of 0 to 150. So, a Gigafactory getting added was one of the worst solutions. At least that's what normal people thought. But this unit doesn't rely on fossil fuels for its work, making it a great opportunity. This energy technology if feasible may influence other factories in the area. Many lives would be saved as this would reduce pollution here. This Gigafactory is in fact, setting good examples of green industry, and maybe something can be learned from this. Inside the Gigafactory in Shanghai. First, there were issues to get the 86-acre plot of land for a 50-year lease for the cost of 973 million yuan, but this was somehow managed, and within a year the Gigafactory was set up. Then the first Made in China Model 3 was released, and there were 350,000 Model 3s and 250,000 Model YS in Shanghai. Out of this, one-fifth would be exported and the rest would be sold in China. The first look inside the factory was by Tesla China, which released a YouTube video of 50 seconds at the assembly line, which had robotic arms bigger than the size of the human body. They showed complementary work between robots and humans. They have arranged many, many truck ports for multiple deliveries. There is an epic-timed manufacturing technique used by Toyota called Lean Manufacturing which is employed here too. What does it mean? Well, it simply means that the right parts arrive at the right time. This way storage space is conserved and waste is not released. Anything that requires a lot of hard work is done by machines for efficiency, and whatever can't be done by machinery is done by humans. There are even robot-only areas that are controlled by them in miniature booths. There are amazing sensors and high-level machinery that have intense programming and machines tagged to it. 
AI is also trained by making sure any rectifications that have been required are fed to them, to ensure that mistakes aren't repeated. Musk emphasizes the importance of technology for the company for cost-saving purposes, and precision cannot be matched by the human eye. The factory continues to employ around 2,000 workers, who stagger their shift patterns throughout the day. He always loves the balance established between machines and humans. The infrastructure is amazing. Workers travel on vast, open corridors and networks of internal paths, which are strategically and carefully positioned so as not to disrupt the assembly line's flow. There is time-lapse footage that shows cars moving down the line while humans and machines get involved at various stages to complete the work. On completion, it's time for testing. The testing is always pretty thorough. A car's infotainment system is booted into the factory mode, allowing workers to test all of the car's functions such as headlights, media control, and drive systems. Moving parts like the wheels and charging ports are also inspected at this stage. Just like inside the factory, a network of roads forms the area just outside the factory, used not only by truck drivers, but also to transport the assembled Teslas to their final place in the parking lot assigned for their storage. This ensures effective movement and seamless transportation. This boosts China's trade relations with developed countries and can maybe inch towards a whole developed economy. Plans for the Gigafactory's Tesla CEO, the Tony Stark of the world, said that he wants to set up 10 to 20 more of these plants in Shanghai was their guinea pig as it was the first base outside the US, and he is super satisfied with its performance. Experts acknowledge that gigafactories are huge sources of employment and can bolster trade relations thus leading it one step towards the reduction of global poverty and unemployment. So this is all about the Shanghai Gigafactory. Do you find it awesome? Do you think it's a sustainable way to contribute both to the environment and development? Let us know in the comments section below. Don't forget to like this video, share it with your friends for more gossip, and subscribe to our channel for more updates. Hit the bell icon button to not miss an update from our channel and we'll see you in the next video.